Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create a laurel using only basic shapes. So when you start up your Illustrator program, you want to go to File, go to New, and just select your size right here. But before we begin to draw, we want to go to View, go to Show Grid, then go to View again, go to Snap to Grid, and go to Windows and open up Pathfinder. We're going to use this later. So, we want to zoom in a little bit to start with and then we want to select this ellipse tool right here. So draw one circle and draw another one, Quite a, it has to be the same size. So after that, just move them so they, they overlap a little bit right here until you have the desired shape. We want this shape, so that looks great. So we want to click this intersect in your pathfinder. So we only stuck with this one. So we want to hold down the shift key and rotate this 45 degrees. Then hold down your alt key to duplicate it. And you can hold down shift too so it moves in a straight line, it's easier. Hold down your shift key again, rotate 45 degrees, and then just line those up as you want them. Next thing you want to do is select both of these, hold down your alt key to duplicate again, and move up, hold down shift to move in a straight line, like this. Now you have duplicated those once, you can just click Ctrl D to do this multiple times, right here. Zoom out a little bit. We still need a top, so for that we're gonna take one of these, hold down Alt to duplicate it, then hold down the Shift key to rotate it so it's, so it's straight, right here. And to align these precise in the middle, we want to select these three shapes and go to Align right here and select this one horizontal distrib distribute center. So click that one and it will be exactly in the middle. You can pull it down a little bit if you want. So now we have your, the basic shape of the laurel. Now we can zoom out a little bit like this and move it a little bit just, just to get it inside the canvas again. So now we have one but we need to arch it a little bit. So the first thing you want to do is select all of these shapes and if you, if you don't like it be, to be borders, you can just switch this. It looks a little better, I think. So select off all these, right click and select group. This is important. So now you can duplicate this one, hold down the Alt key and now we got two of these. So. Because we group this, it will work as one, at one, as one shape when we, uh, when we arch it. So select this group and go to Effect, go to Warp and go to Arc right here. You can click Preview if you want. But the first thing you want to do is just select an even number. You don't have to, but it's easier. So we select 60 to bend. And the other one, we go to Effect, once again, Warp, Arc, and select minus 60. So it arches just as much, just the other way. Boom, right here. There you got your laurel. If you want to, you can line these up a little bit. And if you want the logo, maybe you can put a circle in here and align that. Align that. So it'll be, oops, like this. <laughs> Align that so it's in the middle. Yes, that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like, you can subscribe or thumbs, thumbs up. Or if you want me to do something else, you can comment uh, down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.